Mr. President. It all started when the bill seeking to reduce the age for elective position was sponsored at both chambers of the National Assembly by young lawmakers, Honorable Tony Mulu at the House of Representatives and Senator Abdulaziz Nyako at the Senate. The, the fifth order of the day. This is not the first time a bill seeking the reduction of age for people seeking elective positions was sponsored and passed at the National Assembly. This same bill was among the bills passed by the Seventh Assembly, but was never signed into law by former Nigerian president, Good Luck Jonathan. As if drawing lessons from that experience, a group of youths organized a campaign, otherwise known as the Not Too Young to Run movement, to pressure the National Assembly to pass the bill. There were several protest marches across Nigeria, including Abuja, Nigeria's capital city. Those agitations paid off when both chambers of the National Assembly passed the bill, altering sections 65, 106, 131, and 177 of the 1999 Constitution, reducing the age qualification for president from 40 to 30, governor from 35 to 30, senator from 35 to 30. House of Representatives membership from 30 to 25 and State House of Assembly membership from 30 to 25. The bill was also sent to the State Houses of Assemblies to complete the Constitution Amendment Circle and 24 out of the 36 states passed the bill which was then transmitted to the President for his assent. President Buhari keeps his Democracy Day promise and signs the bill into law. Apart from helping to open the political space for young people, the presidential assent puts to rest the many mixed feelings as to whether the bill will be signed or not. Now that the bill is signed into law, political watchers are looking forward with much anticipation as to how this law will indeed affect the composition of those seeking elective positions in 2019. <laughs>Njoko, let me quickly move to Kunle. Yes, um, we are talking about, you know, character and content, you know, of these young people, where we have seen, yes, there are very fantastic young people out there doing fantastic things, yet you will still see some who you really can't point at, yes, this is the direction that they are facing. How do we measure this character and content for those who we want to, or who wants to come into office? Well, um, my colleague in Lagos said something earlier, and he was, he's a senatorial aspirant. Of course, I'm a senatorial aspirant too, and I'll use myself and then try to create a little experience. I've run, I've run a private company. I've been part of consulting for international and national organizations. That is more experience than some of the people that hold office presently. I don't, I, don't know, I don't normally get the statement when people say experience is needed, experience and this and that. The truth is, if you've dealt with or managed an organization or handled some things to a particular level, that is experience enough. Within credibility and people moving up, I think most young people have concentrated on just being part of the big two political parties. Because if you look at the smaller ones and within my party itself, there has been space. I am not yet 40, and I'm a national publicity secretary. You can learn, rise through the ropes, build a whole system, build a, yourself within the system, and get to understand that beyond everything else, this experience can be garnered over a few years, and you could become someone that, of course, is credible enough to be picked for election. I think one of the things Nigerians seem to forget when we're referring to politics is that political participation is made up of three things. One, which is you can vote. Two, you can be voted for. And then three, hold uh, people in offices accountable. I feel a fourth one should also be added, which is be part of a political party. Because if you're not part of the machine, you really cannot change the machine. Mm. So as regards experience, mm. I think everyone 
that's young or below should join a political party, be part of the system, try to get a change towards something. Okay, okay. Um, let me just read this tweet before we go on, please. Um, this is from uh, Festus Akimboye, where he says that the, the not too young to run law is a great tool that has paved the way for our younger generation to flex their political muscles to real effect for the first time in 2019. The ball is now in the court of the youths. Mm -hmm. That being said, the president said something, which I believe he actually said in jest, mm -hmm. that, that the young should actually should wait, after wait until 2023. I'm sure he said that in jest. What do you think about that comment that the president made? You see, uh, there, are, there are actually two ways to it. He, he might be joking, mm -hmm. uh, even though some people didn't take it lightly, but what do you expect him to say? He is running for 2019. So do you expect him to say, come and take me out? No, uh, not take well, them out. Just, come on, just come, come on, on, compete man. with compete. me. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. If well, you think you 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 have you have the the, the um the wherewithal, wherewithal, you, know, you see, you see, you see, you see. For me personally, um, I know that if you want to count few you that have done something mm -hmm. on ground, because mm -hmm. how someone said, Juma ame chore garane laraba ake ganewa, meaning that if Friday is going to be great, you must see sign from Wednesday. So there are a few of us that have been consistent in the last one to two decades. We've been very, very consistent. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've tried our best to make the, the kind of impact that is being desired. Um, should I, okay, I am, okay, with this bill now, I should be qualified to run for, for presidency. But the point is, do I have the structure? Do I have the funding? Do I have the mm -hmm. support? Mm -hmm. One needs to be realistic. And that is why most of us are like, okay, let's go to the House of Reps, House of Assembly, Senate, for those who can actually afford it. And start from somewhere. Um, he has his own right to, you know, say what he has said. But the truth of the matter again is, it is not easy. The, 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 the type of funding required, even for one local government, trust me, it is not cheap. And that's why we still want to throw it back to Mr. President. There are so many things that the parties and Mr. President can do. I'm an APC member, mm -hmm. and I'm running under APC. And there is a lot that can be done to soften the ground for young persons, if truly. And we, we will see the sign before as, election. As you've mentioned, mm. you're an APC member. Yeah. And there's a lot of talks around, you know, these parties, whether it's PDP, whether it's APC, whether it's COA, whether it's APGA. These parties, they're not different from each other. They don't have manifesto. What is it that you have seen? in APC that you have decided to be a member of APC, for instance? For me, um, I That would is say, so different from th PDC. There isn't much to choose from, is there? You see, <laughs> the point is that you can be part of a system to add value, to make that change come through. Even if the general body of that system is not facing that direction it that depends. you want to go. You can actually, you, you can always start, okay, now which party? You can always start from somewhere. That's what I'm saying. We believe as young people that we can enter the system, now that we, we have been given an opportunity to be part of the system, APC made it happen. And they must be given uh, credit for that. That this has happened is a sign that, okay, APC is trying to change the status quo. APC is now thinking out of the box. In fact, they are even thinking without the box. That they need to disrupt the system by bringing in fresh ideas. And the president, all our meetings with him in the last three, four, five years, even, even before he was, he was elected, he was consistent in that. And I know that... He has made up his mind to see how he can empower young people. And that is why he signed this bill into law. It is our belief that he is going to go a step further to ensure that young persons that have the credibility, the integrity, and the commitment, the vision, are given an opportunity to actually run.